What's up, Havelina Nation? It's Keontae Herrera, the assistant SID here at Texas A&M Kingsville. I'm drawing with head coach Johnny Estelle. How you doing, coach? Oh, doing great. Glad you have. Glad I'm here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's been a little while since we got to speak, but right now your team is sitting five and two. You're in the top of the Lone Star Conference in a few defensive categories like uh, scoring defense and forcing turnovers. What do you have to say about where your team is in the defensive effort given? Oh, man, I think it's been very good. I think Coach Matthew and Coach Omar has done a great job with our game planning. Uh, you know, our kids are doing a good job executing the game plan and playing hard um, and competing. You know, I think in terms of championship level basketball, you got to be really good defensively and you got to be sound. Uh, it's hard for your offense to be on three nights in a row, but your defense has got to be on point every time. So, you know, if I was going to build my program, and I know we've talked about this before, I want to build it on defensive principles first and then offensive second. So, with that being said, you got a hot team offensively in St. Edwards coming in. What are some things that uh, you need your guys to do so that we can slow them down? Oh, man, you know, it's, this is the biggest debate in basketball, any sport, who wins, offense or defense. Uh, it's just going to be the team that executes the best, I think. I think, you know, if we can do some things to disrupt, you know, St. Uh, Ed and our kids play to their potential and then make them also have to defend some of our stuff, it'll help us. So it's a challenge. That's why we scheduled these guys. They did they did a good job last year and, and, and gave us, I think, our first loss last year. They're a well-coached group and they play well together. And, you know, it's a good challenge for us early, you know, and, and that's what we want. We want to play the best. So following this game Saturday against St. Edwards, you got another home game against St. Mary's, and that pretty much wraps up the Division II non-conference portion of the schedule. Where do you feel your team is? How do you feel your team is as the break of Lone Star Conference play is upon us? Well, I mean, the schedule kind of worked out good and bad. You know, we had a whole 11 days off, I believe, between games. You know, it worked out for us academically for, for preparation for our finals. So, you know, with us not having played in like the last 11 days, it'll be a little rust there. But I think our guys have had a good, you know, week of practice here. And hopefully we've kind of fine-tuned some things and we're ready. Uh, you know, St. Barry's presents another challenge. They're really good. Uh, you know, they've already beaten Midwestern and almost beat Angelo State at home the other day. So both of them are very good programs. They're good regional games. You know, when we put this schedule together, that was my main focus, was to play as many Division II, which we got 26 of them, as many good teams that are going to be ranked or have a chance to be ranked in the region. So even if we don't happen to win the league, which is our goal, that we can get in on, you know, at large wins. So it, it's big for us, you know. We've already, you know, we beat St. Mary's there, so they're going to be ready to come down here and return the favor. So we got to be ready. And then we got to get on the road and play a very good Cameron team and a very good Midwestern team. So there's no easy bass, no, no easy wins or no easy games for us, and that's the way I like it. All right. Well, good luck to you, Coach, and thank you for your time. Hey, thank you. Appreciate everything you guys do. I'm joined here with junior guard Trey Sumter. And Trey, you had a big game last game against St. Mary's. You dropped six threes in the first half alone, and you finished with 29. Was there something different in your preparation leading up to that game? Uh, no, I don't think it was anything different. I went through my regular routine, got shots up the night before, and then just listened to music on the way to the game, and I just stayed in the zone, kept focused. Since nothing was different in your preparation, was there any kind of extra motivation to kind of help you get over? Uh, yeah, so that weekend, the like, couple days before the game, my grandmother had passed away. And, you know, she was one of my biggest supporters. She always looked after me growing up as a kid and j just playing for her. And that's been my biggest motivation. Well, sorry about your loss, but uh, that was a good game to play for. So that's a good look for you. Um, so I got a fun question for you here. If you had to sum up your game, and if you had to think about any past or present NBA player, who would you say best re resembles yours? Oh uh, well, my favorite player is Dwayne Wade, but you know I, I like watching Kawhi Leonard. He's both he plays on both sides of the court, plays hard every possession. He has a nice shot, so I like modeling my game after him and watching him. Last question for you: What do you think that your team needs to do to pick up these next two regional wins? I think we just keep the same game plan. You know, go out there, play hard. Uh, St. Edwards is a good team, so and we play St. Mary's again as well. So we dropped two at home the first time, so we want to get you know get back on the winning ways at home. So. All right, thanks for your time, Trey. All right, Havelina fans, make sure you come out and support Saturday, December 10th. We take on the St. Edward Hilltoppers inside the spec. Let's go, Hogs.